Well, I was running in the conference championship finals of the 400 meter hurdles. And basically, if you finish the race, you score a point for your team. And ideally, I was trying to score more than one point and place higher up. But I uh, just started running the race, and I jumped over the second hurdle. And when I landed, I just fell on the track. And I didn't really know what was going on. And I got back up, and I couldn't move my foot. <laughs> and it was numb and hurting. And I don't know, I guess I never really thought about quitting just because I'd worked so hard to get to that point. And I just felt like if I didn't finish, I'd let not only myself down, but my teammates who were cheering me on and my coaches. So I just kind of started running and I went from there. <laughs> and yeah, just my focus was just on the finish line and just getting to it. It was so. completely normal. I was warmed up really well. I was excited. Um, even just out of the starting blocks, I felt really fast and as good as or better as the prelims the day before. So yeah, I just felt super great. Oh, I actually didn't feel anything. Um, I, when I initially fell, I remember thinking like, oh man, I'm gonna have to get up and run again now. And then I stood up and that's when I felt everything and kind of stopped and went, whoa, something's really wrong down there. So yeah, I had no idea what had happened until I tried to walk on it. I don't know, I've just never really been the type to give up. And I've had four years of really great coaching from coach Dave Nielsen and then Hillary when she stepped in. And, just pushing through so many things in track practice, hard workouts, and just the support of my teammates. Like I just I knew I could do it and just for myself, like that was something that I'd worked a long time to get to. So I guess I wasn't about to let a fall, you know, ruin that for me. So I just went for it. Yeah, I'm actually a little surprised sometimes I'm like I don't I don't know how I did that and to be honest I don't remember exactly what I was thinking. I remember seeing a couple of my teammates along the sides and I think I might have said to them I think I tore my Achilles and was kind of just blacking in and out but I just remember focusing like just using each hurdle as sort of a check mark like okay two to go one to go and then just I saw my trainer at the finish line so just basically ran to my trainer and, mm -hmm. yeah just kind of had to focus in on one thing at a time. During the race ah. it was more like uh, shooting pains up my leg, but I think the, the biggest issue was like I just didn't have a foot. I couldn't push off of it. Just my foot didn't work, and it was numb. So during the race, it was trying to figure out how to run and jump over a hurdle without a working foot. And then as soon as I stopped running, that's when like it felt like my calf was just like ripping in half. So the most pain came after the race, but during the race, it was just the struggle of not being able to move my foot. <laughs> I could hear people clapping a little bit. Um, not, I didn't realize the extent afterwards I was told of, of how much people were cheering, which really means a lot and like touches me. But yeah, I just remember mainly just myself and some people running by and I just remember hoping that they wouldn't come try to help me because if people help you then you get DQ'd from the race. So I really was just trying to keep going so that it would count, I guess. Um, I think it, it just means a lot uh, to me as a person just to know that that I accomplished that and didn't give up on myself and my dreams and like, you know, the support of my teammates. Just, I guess that just means a lot to know that I pulled through and did it. And so, you know, hopefully further in life, if something comes up at me, I can, you know, believe in myself. I guess you could say um, they've been they've been amazing. Um, I swear they like almost make me cry each time they tell me, but they just have told me things like that's one of the coolest things they've seen. And a lot of them are like, I don't think I could have done it, and they've just told me that. You know, they, they've always known I was like that, and it was just really cool to see that. And I don't know, yeah, they're just amazing and make me feel really good. So, very grateful for them for sure. Um, I'm a senior, I just graduated. This was my actually my last track meet ever. So, I guess I just didn't want my last memory of track and field to be me, you know, rolling off the track without finishing. So, that way I can finish my career uh, crossing the finish line in the finals. So, yeah, it's definitely, I mean, Obviously, this was not what I planned, because I, I also had the 4x4 four four relay that day, so my goal was to place in the hurdles and then go run with my teammates in that, and obviously it's going to be a long recovery, so not what I had planned, but I guess if I was going to go out, like, might as well make a bit of a statement, I guess, so yeah, just, it's really nice to know that I, that I finished and that I did score a conference, which had always, individually, which had always been a goal of mine, so. I would like to think I would, yeah, I feel... I feel like that's just something that really this program has taught me and the relationships with teammates and friends I've established and just who I am as a person that, I mean, I, you can never say for sure, but I would like to think that I would finish. So. I think it's a good thing because I think it shows, you know, I didn't finish for any reason other than myself and my teammates. You know, it's not like 
if there's going to be any glory from that. And, you know, we're a smaller D1 school, so there's nothing else involved. So I think, you know, maybe that could show a little bit for doing things for your own, you know, personal determination and your team and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm really surprised because I figured people here would know, but I guess I didn't realize it was as big a deal as it was. I guess in the moment, you know, I was just trying to get through it, <laughs> so kind of cool. I don't know, I kind of hope it, I would just be happy if it brings a little recognition to Idaho State University, to be honest. So I'm glad that I can, I guess, do my part <laughs> in this weird way. <laughs> uh, it was really surreal, I guess, to watch it. Um, to watch myself, like, be in that much pain, it was kind of... It was a weird feeling, and I guess it made me realize like how much I was like pushing through right there. So, it kind of made me proud of myself. But it was definitely really weird to see. And then um, watching the video, I got to see some of the people who were running beside me and cheering me on, and so that was really cool. Just the track and field can be such a supportive atmosphere, and I think that really showcased that type of thing. So that was really cool to watch.